Hey guys, it's Catalia. So, um, quick thing before I start this video. This video is actually sponsored by Amino Apps. It's a really cool app, which I'm sure you've heard of by like 10 other YouTubers at least. <laughs> um, the reason I like it is because of the reptile section. Um, there are a lot of different aminos you can join and the one I like the best obviously is the reptile one. Whenever you join, um, you should follow me. <laughs> My username is Catalia on there. And um, yeah, I think they call themselves the cool cousin of Reddit or something like that. And basically you can just post uh, pictures on there, you can join polls, you can do quizzes and join up with a lot of other reptiles people and you can make friends and talk to a lot of other people that um, like reptiles like you do so and if you don't like reptiles I don't know why you're watching my videos but if you don't <laughs> there are other communities and sections in there that you can join and yeah it's a really cool app I personally would not have someone sponsor my video if I didn't think it was a cool app and I think this is a really cool app so you guys should check it out Amino app and join the reptile section and add me on there so thanks Amino for sponsoring this video Video. And yeah, um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my new knobtail gecko that I got uh, at NARBC. Um, for those of you who watched my live stream when I was there, I uh, looked at the gecko quite a few times before I finally decided to just get it. So, I got him! I said he was too much money, but I got him anyways! Yay! So sadly, I probably won't be able to go to VidCon because I bought more geckos and I bought a brand new camera, so hopefully you like the way this looks. I'm still figuring out how to use it. Yeah! So, and then, after I show you my new gecko, I'm actually going to take you guys through my NARBC footage and let you see what I got. And there's not that much of it, um, at least five, six minutes worth of footage that my friend Max actually helped me film because my camera died and I forgot to charge it. After I show you my knobtail gecko, I'm going to show you guys my NARBC footage. Also, I just did a collab with Happy Tales. Uh, we did a live stream on you now on YouTube. And also, uh, we filmed a lot of cool stuff too. So she's going to have a video up on her channel soon. And I'm going to have one probably next week as well. And um, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, check out the Amino app and come join the reptile community. Uh, let me show you my new gecko. And then I'll take you with me to NARBC. Alright, let's go! Okay, so I have my gecko in my snake rack. He's still pretty young, so he fits just fine in this. For Levis Levis, um, they need a cool side and a hot side. I have his hot side set to 88 degrees Fahrenheit. And over here is his cool side where the sand underneath his hide is moist so he can burrow through it. Here he is! He's the most gorgeous little thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's been a good couple days now, so I don't really mind disturbing him too much. Let me see if he'll take a cricket. He's so skittish. But I heard the species is supposed to be really skittish. I love him so much, he's so cute. I still can't pick a name. I'm really bad at naming animals, honestly. Yeah, I've noticed he doesn't eat the crickets whenever I'm watching him. He'll only eat them whenever he's hiding in his hide and it's nighttime. He's a pretty picky little guy, but he's really adorable. They don't need a water dish because they get most of their moisture from the crickets and bugs that they eat. But also, you are meant to keep one side of their enclosure very moist in the sand. So that's also how they get a lot of hydration. And also, every once in a while, you can spray the side of their enclosure to give them some water. But that's not always really necessary, so yeah. He's such a cool little guy. He's adorable. I love him. If you guys have any name suggestions for my adorable little knobtail gecko, then let me know. Um, for those that are going to ask, I got him from Austin Reptile Connection. They are a breeder that I really trust here in Texas, and they have a lot of amazing animals. I'm going to be doing a cool video collaborating with them sometime in the near future, so look forward to that. But yeah, my little Levis Levis. Alright, and I guess now on to the NARBC footage. What there is of it anyways. There's not much, but enjoy! <laughs> southern range. 
Florida's Jaws. And uh, we have a pair that breeds for us every year named Molly and Buster. Yeah, we do conservation and research and education, all raising money to help the animals both in captivity and in the wild. Uh, we keep over about 20 different species of crocodilian. This year we hatched out four species. Uh, where do the babies normally go whenever you uh, hatch them? Uh, that's a good question. Well, we're actually trying right now to get some of these Cuban crocodiles back over into Cuba. Into that's the in, wild? Into, uh, hopefully into the wild, uh, but at least into Cuba to help uh, captive breeding over there as well. Awesome. Uh, we hatched up three clutches of Cuban crocs this year. Yeah, don't drop that. Ladies and gentlemen, we're playing a game. How much peak pal credit will Aaliyah use? <laughs> I'm um, needing another adult female, um, Nuana Nuami cross or something like that. Something, you know, a cheaper variety. Right. Um, but like a, lot, like a lot of the NLSs, yeah. this is not location specific. If we don't know exactly where it came from, that's where we put that on there. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that but a lot nice. of times, usually there's some type of cross, either with a pine on it or something else. So we're gonna all just shout out our channels. All right, guys. So make sure you guys check out my channel. That are always evolving pythons. Port City pythons. We do North American colubrids and it's Indo-Australian pythons. Please check us out. Cataloo. <laughs> and Max is here. So. And on the live stream. All right. I'm doing both right here. He's doing that right there. Got this right here. He has his phone right there. I quit because I'm huge. Jealous and petty because I'm not famous. Me too. <laughs> um.
Joe Fallon, Port City Pythons, everywhere from the Ground Up podcast. Please check out all of our stuff. Man, you guys are good at that. Like, what do I say? Cabotia and everything. On you now, on YouTube. YouTube. On YouTube, on Instagram, um, except Snapchat, I'm only a kitty, so that's a, someone stole my name. All right, and Max's view on Instagram, YouTube, of course, and Snapchat. Please Snapchat me. I really need friends. <laughs> uh, he, he really, really. I really need friends. friends um, so. Someone